This is my super batch export plugin. It's useful for when you have multiple models in the same Blender scene file that you want to export to different files. For example, maybe you have a bunch of game assets that are kind of in the same pack that you want to export to different files to put in your game engine. Or maybe you have like a 3D model for 3D printing and it has multiple parts that you have to print separately and you want to model it all in the same scene, but then export it to separate files to start slicing it up for 3D printing. To download it, you want to go to the GitHub page and then go to the releases and then go to the top release, which I should have a link to the releases in the description. So in the top release, you want to make sure that it should work with your version of Blender. The latest one that I have requires 3.3 and might work for a few more versions and then maybe something will have to change. Anyway, you want to download the zip folder at the top. If there is only a source code file for the latest release and I forgot to make the properly set up zip folder, then there's going to be a init.py file that you can extract from it and install directly into Blender. And then once you're back into Blender, go to edit, preferences, add-ons, install. Then you want to go to the folder where you downloaded it and click install. Once it's installed, you want to search for batch export and click on the check button. Now I have a single option here right now for where to put the add-on. So there is the top bar, which places it up here. There's the 3D viewport header, which places it here. And there's the side panel, which places it here. So once you start, you're going to first have to choose a directory. If it's just slash slash, that means that if this blend file has been saved somewhere, then it will be saved in the same directory or same folder where this blend file is saved. Then you can click on it and maybe make a new folder that might be, say, called export. And I can accept that folder. Accept. Then you see it becomes the slash slash export folder. You can go to the settings in here and change it to not be relative path so that it has the full path, but relative path might be preferred so that it stays with the blend file. And that way it can also work if you're on like a team with multiple people and they have that file, then they don't have to have like the same username as you and all that stuff. So you can add a prefix or a suffix to it. For example, you can add sm underscore and that will put sm underscore in front of all the file names for this which is the convention for unreal engine static mesh file assets then you can go to the export settings and choose which format right now i have all the ones that come pre-installed with blender so you can just choose whichever one i'll choose gltf next you have a mode for objects objects by parents or collections this decides how to split up which objects go to which files. So if you have it by objects, it will export all the objects to a separate file. If you have objects by parents, it will export any child of an object as part of that same one. So let's say I hit control P and parent this chair here to this table. So that means it will export one table file which will have the chair as part of it as well you can also choose collections so you can have a different collection for each set of things that you want to export next you can limit to visible which will do all the ones that you can see and are selectable or you can do selected which will only export the ones that are selected so if i only have this table selected then it will only export the table but if I have visible, it will export everything except for my lights and cameras, which I don't have visible right now. Next, there will be some specific settings for the different formats. Many of these have a preset setting, which means that if I go to file export and then GLTF or whichever format, I can go and set a few settings and then I can go and create a preset here. And this will be demo preset. And then I can go 
and choose demo preset. And then I can export and it will automatically set those settings. I also have an apply modifier setting because that kind of matters if you're using shape keys. So I just put that for all of them. Then we have which object types that you can want to export. So I can single click on it and it'll choose one. Or if I shift click, it will choose multiple. Not all of these object types will work with each of these formats. For example, the grease pencil ones will only do the grease pencil one. And if you have other ones selected and it exports those, then it'll just be like an empty file. Finally, we have the set location, set rotation, and set scale options. So if you have these on, it will go and basically set the location of each of these before it exports. For location is set to 000, so before it exports, it will move this to 000 so that everything is centered out. You can do that with rotation and scale too. So for example, maybe you have things rotated in funny ways in your scene and you just want them to be reset to zero rotation, then this rotate to zero will do it. Or maybe if you try to like export to a format into a game engine and it's like not orientated the right way, you can go and say rotate it by 90 degrees to fix that. Same with scale. If you have things scaled weird, you can have them all set to one scale or if say you're exporting to something and it's making it 10 times too big you can set to like 0.1 scale and fix that so if i hit batch export it should export the three files and then you see i have an export folder and i have sm chair glb sm shelf glb and sm table glb so if you have some settings that you would like to be your defaults all of these settings are saved inside the Blender file, so you can just start a new file and then set the settings that you want to be your defaults and use File, Defaults, Save Startup File, and that will save it to the file that gets opened whenever you create a new file. And you will have your settings that were saved to that file in your new file. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please like and subscribe if you did. Thank you.